absolutely beautiful and I j'adore it. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to day three of the autumn fashion edit. So the day that you're going to be watching this is actually my birthday. So yeah, it's not my birthday as I'm filming this, but when you're watching it, it's going to be my birthday. So yay, happy birthday to me. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying the week so far. Today we're going to be hauling one of my favourite brands of all time, and that is And Other Stories. I have been so obsessed with this brand for the last two years. These shorts are from And Other Stories, although somehow I managed to sit on some like berries um, and I've basically stained them so they're just like gonna be my filming shorts because you guys can't really see the back. <laughs> so I just think they do so many timeless classic high quality pieces that always have a really stylish edge which is so me and especially in autumn winter for knitwear like if you're looking for some timeless classic yet stylish knitwear that's really high quality then And Other Stories is like your place to go. If you're new here today please don't forget to subscribe down below, turn on post notifications and please follow me on Instagram and don't forget that I will link everything I show in today's video down below in the description box. So let's get started and try on some outfits. So guys, I picked out my favorite outfit to try on first. I think this is so adorable and stylish and just absolutely perfect for autumn, like September, October time. So the skirt is this really beautiful, like cream and beige houndstooth wool skirt. And I just think it's so amazing when you get something that's so wintry. It's so not spring summer, but you've done it in light pale colors. It's actually quite a rarity and I get so excited when I see it. I know you guys know that I have been on the hunt this week for great autumn winter skirts and shorts and I have definitely found one in this. I'm very, very happy. I love the wool fabric because it feels very autumn winter. It's very like season appropriate. It also feels really luxurious and expensive and the skirt is super, super flattering. Like it's giving me such a nice shape right now. It kind of has a a little 60s city vibe which I really really like and I just think it's a really good wardrobe staple like it's a really timeless classic skirt it's good quality like this will last you overall I am totally sold on the skirt I'm absolutely in love with it and then the top I also really really like it's oh my god it's just gorgeous so it's a little like knitted top it's ribbed the way that it kind of like clings to your body I think is really really nice it's also in this gorgeous like off-white color which I know I've said before in this video, but I really prefer for autumn rather than like bright, brilliant white. And it's kind of like a cool polo top style. So it buttons up in these really beautiful like gold and ivory looking buttons. They're really decorative and they look really expensive as well. And then you have this really cool polo neck, which gives it a kind of like sporty, cool vibe. And I just think the top and skirt are like a match made in heaven. Like this is such a perfect outfit. I'm very, very excited. It's the most satisfying thing when you put something together and it's like, oh my God, yes, it works. It's like that feeling when you put like the last piece of the jigsaw and you're like, yes. So then I've also got this bag, which I've actually had for like a month now. I am so obsessed with it. It's kind of become my everyday bag. I'm really, really into these small little over the shoulder bags. They're just so convenient. It's a little like brown croc style bag. It kind of has that 90s vibe. It's very on trend right now. And that's what I kind of like about it because I'm not big on the 90s trend that's like taking over right now. But I feel like this is a very small, subtle nod to it that still keeps my outfits looking really up to date, but not looking like a full on Spice Girl. And of course the color goes with everything. As you can see, it goes perfectly with this look. And altogether, I am just so excited. I feel like this is one of my favorite top to bottom looks of the week so far. So I'm sticking with this skirt for the next couple of tops, but next up I have this really gorgeous little beige cardigan. I feel like this goes really nicely as well with the skirt, but it kind of gives it a different look. I really, really like the style and fit of this cardigan. I love how it's cropped and I love how it has this really like kind of relaxed fit but it's not loose and baggy it's like the perfect perfect amount of loose to give you that slightly slouchy like effortless look but still adding to the shape and silhouette of your outfit which is really really important to me it's got really great sleeves something I always look out for it's got my favorite kind of sleeves a little bit loose but nice and tight in at the wrist it's really subtle and effortless you just threw it on but when you have like a nice tight skirt or like some nice tight jeans or something it's gonna look really 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 good so I was debating whether to show you guys this cardigan or not because I know it's really similar to the last one but I do feel like it has enough 
details and differences. It's obviously got kind of more statement buttons and definitely more statement sleeves. Like these are more of a pronounced balloon sleeve, which I absolutely love. And it's also got these really cool shoulder pads as well, which I really like. I think it can give your body like a really nice shape. I'm not gonna like talk about it for too long because it's very, very similar. Everything that I thought about the last cardigan, I also think about this, but I did just want to show you a cute little alternative. Um, although they're both so lovely, I don't know how you would make up your minds. <laughs> Next up, change of skirt alert. Um, yeah, I changed skirts. This is two of the three skirts that I picked up in this haul. It's really, really nice. I think it's a great staple for autumn, winter. You could pair it with so many different knits, pretty much any of the tops in this haul you could pair with this skirt and it's gonna look great. I feel like it's designed to make you look a bit hourglassy because it's very tight and high waist and they've got these two lines that like kind of go out like this to kind of give you that illusion. It's so nicely structured, it's such a gorgeous fit. It's very versatile, it's very flattering and yeah, there's like nothing bad to say about this skirt whatsoever. It is a great versatile staple. And then the first top that I'm pairing with this skirt is this absolutely beautiful jumper. I'm just obsessed with it. The knit, like the fabric is so gorgeous. It's so soft. It feels so luxurious. And it's got this really lovely like crochet bib detail, which I think is so unique. It's also got a cute little frilly high neck and these really nice like laser cut chevrons going down the sleeves. There's all these really beautiful details. It's just so, so feminine. And I feel like when you're facing six to seven months of wearing jumpers, you need stuff like this because it's gonna make you feel like you're not just wearing boring old jumpers every day. Because I feel like in September, we're all like, oh, jumpers, knitwear, it's so fun. But the novelty wears off really, really quickly. So you need gorgeous like design details like this to get you through. So this is another really pretty decorative jumper. It's just stunning. Every single time I try on a knit, from under the stories, they never ever disappoint. They're just so beautifully cut, gorgeous fits and shapes, the unusual beautiful details, and of course, just the softest, most gorgeous fabric every single time. I love wearing short sleeved jumpers in autumn because I think it has a real 60s, like retro fun look. I absolutely love it. And this has so many beautiful details that make it really, really special. First of all, the sleeves and the shoulders, they're slightly puffy. It's really subtle, but it just adds to the structure and the silhouettes of the whole outfit. They've also got these really cute little frills on the bottom and around the neck. And then it's also got this really gorgeous, almost like macrame detail on the sleeves, on the arms and the chest area, which is just really unusual. I've never really seen that type of um, fabric like paired with knit. And I think it really, really works. It's unusual, but it just looks so lovely. And I just think it's such a great bonus when you can wear something that's beautiful and decorative and unusual, but it's also like really warm and cozy, which this is by the way, it's like 30 degrees today. Um, and I'm trying on knitwear. We're having our September heat wave and I'm doing knitwear, which is great. <laughs> So I wanted to try this top on for you with my Topshop Scort, um, which is old, unfortunately, but it's just an outfit that I've been wearing a couple of times since I got this, which was a few weeks ago. I've barely taken this jumper off since I got it until it started to get warm again because it's so, so lovely. And I just think it looks so cool. This kind of sporty, like open collar jumper thing is really, really in right now. I've seen loads all over the brands this week. And this one is lovely because although it has that like retro sporty style, it's really, really feminine because it's this beautiful like off-white knit. And I don't know how well you can guys can see, but on the end of the zip, there's a pearl, like a nice kind of misshapen pearl that looks like it just came out of the sea, which I think is a really lovely detail. And I just think it looks so chic. It's really like effortless and simple. Like you just throw on a jumper, especially with the bag. I think it looks really cool. I feel like this is a really nice transitional piece. Like I've worn this a couple of times with my white puffle skirt. I'll show you. When I went to my boyfriend's house for the weekend um, a couple of weeks ago, I wore this skirt with this tucked in and it was really nice because it was such like a summer to autumn transitional outfit with this bag. So yeah, I just think you'd get a lot of wear out of this because it's a really nice, easy thing to throw on, keep you cozy, but it does look just super, super chic and stylish. I love it. <laughs> So next is what I would call a very classic Freddy autumn outfit. I feel like when you guys see outfits like this, you do associate them with me because I get tagged in pictures of girls wearing these kinds of outfits 
all the time on Instagram. I've already got this and other stories turtleneck in white and it's just one of my favorite tops because even though it's literally the plainest thing in the world, everything about it, just like the height of the neck, the fabric, the way that it fits on my body is just perfect. This is why and other stories is one of my favorite brands because even really simple staple pieces like that, they just do them flawlessly and I am very, very fussy. You can wear these underneath jumpers as like thermals um, and you just get so much wear out of them and they last you for years because this like turtleneck long sleeve top is literally never going to go out of style. And then the skirt I think is like the same skirt as the one I tried on at the beginning of the video but obviously just in different colours. And this is more of like a classic kind of heritage, houndstooth, very British kind of look which I really love and it's just the classic like beige, black and brown houndstooth but this has a little teeny bit of pink going through which is why I think it works really nicely with this top. And again it's just so so classic. This whole um, fabric and pattern is just timeless and it's so perfect for autumn winter and I just love the way the turtleneck and the skirt go together it's just very 60s vibes so yeah this is a very Freddy outfit and then I also got this jacket because I thought it looked quite different and interesting they also had it in a teal color I thought it was interesting I'm really into like quilted stuff right now I feel like it's a big trend this year and I really really like it I actually really like that I think it's really cool. I think it's a bit different. It has quite a boxy fit and like these big sleeves. So it kind of reminds me of like an American football jacket, but I actually like it. I do. I think it's cool. I think it's a bit different. I really love quilting. Right now, I just think it looks really nice. I think it looks like quite effortlessly chic. Like, oh, I just threw on my cool, slightly odd, expensive quilted jacket. So I popped my Topshop skirt back on and oh my goodness, this blouse is absolutely stunning. This is so, so beautiful. Like everything about it, this pattern, the florals is just stunning. Like it's like art. And I was talking on Monday about how I just love florals so much, but just sometimes they really don't work in autumn winter you need a very specific type of floral pattern for it to work it's kind of like a faux pas when you dress in something that's so obviously not for that season i just don't think it looks good but this is so not like that this is so appropriate for autumn i think it's like the really muted kind of dark dusky tones of the pink and the way that it's matched in with this burgundy which is obviously a very autumn color and then you have all of these other beautiful design details it has a little bit of ruching around the shoulder which is just so feminine it makes it look more expensive and luxurious. I love a loose sleeve like this. I just think it's so classy and feminine and gorgeous. I'm just besotted with this top. I think it's stunning. I think it is a standout piece of the week because I love it when you can wear something that's still fun and stylish and a bit unusual and stand out because so much of the time in autumn winter it's just boring jumpers jeans, jumpers jeans. Boring, 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 but this is the opposite. It's absolutely beautiful and I j'adore it. So next I have this absolutely adorable outfit. I'm really sorry that I keep on using these shorts, but they just seem to pair so well with everything. Um, and this is why I always say if you get yourself an amazing pair of shorts or skirt, like a great pair of bottoms that go with like multiple tops, then it's like the best thing you can do. So I've gone for this really interesting, like, I don't really know what you would call it. It's like a jumper vest, but it's not really a vest because it does have sleeves, but it's all like one piece like it doesn't have a seam with sleeves it's all like one piece and I think it's really really cool I love the structure I think it's really interesting I had a great moment on um Piccadilly I was on Piccadilly by the Ritz and I was wearing my ASOS puffball skirt and a guy who just looked like a really average guy he stopped me and he was like that's a great skirt and I was like I know I said it's my favorite skirt and he said it's almost architectural and I was like that's exactly what I love about it. And he said, there's this great exhibition at Somerset House between the connections of architecture and fashion. And I was like, you are my kind of person. And it was a great moment. And you don't have many moments like that in life, especially not in London where everyone avoids eye contact. <laughs> and I get the same feeling with this top. It's so structured that it does look architectural. It has such an interesting shape and silhouette. And that's like my favorite thing about fashion. I love like making shapes cutting shapes. I think it has a slight kind of retro vintage vibe. I don't really know what era, but it's definitely giving me vintage vibes, almost like nautical, like autumn winter 
at sea. And then I decided to pair it with this absolutely gorgeous little necktie, which I do think is adding to the vintage look. Um, but this is also obviously from And Other Stories and I love myself a necktie, as you know, but I do also find them very summery. So I was really excited when I saw this because I thought this gorgeous like kind of goldy, browny, beigey striped pattern was perfect. It would go with all of like the knitwear and all the nice tones, the autumnal tones, but it just adds a gorgeous little like artistic flair to your outfit. So I absolutely love this whole look. I think it's so interesting and different. It's like simple, but it's really statement at the same time. And it just looks so stylish and chic. I'm just absolutely obsessed. And then the final piece to show you in this haul is this absolutely gorgeous cardigan. It's kind of similar to like the polo top. It kind of is like a polo style cardigan, which I think just makes it like a little bit more stylish, not just like a boring cardigan. It also gives it a little bit of a retro vibe. And you could even put it with the little necktie because it's kind of got this open collar it would work um, and that just kind of like adds to it, spices it up a little bit, makes it look a little less boring. Um, not that the cardigan's boring, but you know what I mean, it's quite plain. It looks so cute with the bag, of course, um, and it's just lovely. It's a nice classic thing. I think you would get a lot of wear out of this. It's so soft and warm. It's honestly unreal and I love it when you can keep cozy but still look really stylish. Like, I say this all the time on my channel, but I don't just want to throw on a jumper just to be warm. I want to be warm, but also want to look chic and this totally does that it has a shape it has nice sleeves everything from and other stories is always cut nicely it's never just a throw on thing it's always interesting and flattering and i just don't know how i'm gonna choose between all of the knitwear in this video because i absolutely love everything <laughs> So guys, that's it for today's haul. As always, the week goes on and I get more stressed because I love everything I choose and there is no more room in these wardrobes. But as always, let me know your thoughts, the things that you think I should keep, the things that you're gonna order down below in the comments. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.